Okay, we're going to move on to the next stage, and this is where it gets really exciting, and we make our EAs really sing in terms of the results they're giving us. So initially, through back testing, we have showed you how to alter individual parameters to see if you can make those results better that are produced from the settings you put in the inputs area. Now we want to take that to the next stage. Rather than doing it one at a time, we're going to get the computer to do the hard work and to make things better. So really, if you look at our goals, initially we've got our first back test results. We've made sure the chart says that it's doing what we expect it to do and we want to make those results better. So we move into this process called optimization, which is fine tuning those parameters to improve its performance over a specified historical data set. Its purpose is to improve those performance metrics to ultimately reduce risk and optimize profit in various market conditions. So what we'll do is we'll test a number of parameters at the same time over a long period of time to see if we can make things look better. There is some merit in journaling each stage, so making sure that you record what you do, just so you've got that as a record, you can go back and subsequently have a look at your process. This will be useful going forward in the future, but also useful in terms of what you've had a look at already. So let's get into it. And what we're gonna do is we're obviously going to use that zigzag EA we used in the other one. And we are going to look at a different instrument. We're gonna look at the GB pound Australian dollar. So you can see here, we put the GB pound Australian dollar one hourly. We're only gonna test for the last year. Once we find the optimum settings, we can test it for longer if we want. We've still got optimization disabled at this stage. And we click the start button and ultimately we come up with these back test results. So you can see the net profit on this is 440. This is on 0.1 of a contract. Drawdown's only 2.26. And we've got a profit rate of 50%. And you can see our average profit is better than our average loss by around $26. So not a bad set of numbers and one certainly that looks as though it's got potential providing we get the settings to take it to the next level. So what we need to do is first of all, go back into settings and we're gonna change this optimization tab. We're gonna go on the drop down menu and click on fast genetic based algorithm. Now, if you want to do a slow complete algorithm, then this will take a very long time rather than just some time. So do this to start with. And if you want to do any finer tuning, then you can later. And what this does is it takes a selection of the parameters to try and find a good result. Then we have to go into inputs. And because we've got this as our optimization setting, we can now go here and we can tick some of these boxes. So let's do a fairly small one. We're going to alter that fast ZZ period. We'll test that fast ZZ period. And you can see what we've got here is start, step, and stop, okay? So start is the parameter that we start at. So we're gonna start at five. So we're gonna do step of two, and we're gonna go up to 11. And you can see this number on the side. This tells us how many runs we've got to do to make that happen. We're also gonna check out this diff rate, which is the ATR above that top peak to suggest the trend is continuing. It would like a little bit of space, but we're only going to test two settings. We're going to test point 0.1 at step of point 0.1 and point 0.2 being the stop. Um, we might check our entry time. We're not going to go quite this wide, but you can see our entry time in minutes currently is set at 120. So what we're going to do is we're going to start at 90 and we're going to go up in 30s and we're going to go up to 150. Okay, so we've got three runs on that one. And we're going to test one more thing. We'll tick the MA period. Okay, and we're going to start at 10. And we're going to see if 25 is any better. So we'll be doing four on that. So what we get is four runs on this. So our total runs is 96. Now, the more things you tick, the longer it's going to take. Uh, and quite often it takes a fair amount of time. We'll talk about this on the session on the webinar sessions for those of you who are attending them but let's run this now and we might and i'll show you a couple of things along the way uh, and then we'll let it cook so you can see there we press the start button 
and it'll all start to happen. Now, there's a couple of things we're going to point out here. It does take a while to get started simply because it's gathering all of the data over that one year period. We'll see it start to work along the bottom. As I said, it sometimes takes a little bit of time to get going. So you must be patient with this. And we'll talk about how to quicken this process up a little bit and go through the course. But it's a good opportunity to go away, do something else and come back in 20 minutes or half an hour and see what's going on. You can see it's well underway now. It's shown us it'll take about another 24 minutes. Uh, it might be slightly quicker than that, but we're going to see progress so far. We're just going to move it down and click on this optimization results tab. And you can already see there's lots of numbers above that 440 we clicked on before. We're just going to click on profit uh, just so when we look at it again, uh, we can have another look and see what the best figure is. But we've already added essentially 25% to this profit level. And we can see already the settings that have created that. And you can see there's differences in drawdown as well. And that's going to be part of our decision making. And you can see it's ticking over very slowly. If we want to see latest progress, we can just click on one of the other tabs and click back to optimization again. It'll give us the latest numbers. We haven't got better than that 575 yet. And we'll just give it time to cook again. Go and make yourself a cup of coffee. And by the time I've done that, it should be ready to cook and we'll kick off again. And now come back a few minutes later and you can see here we're now two thirds of the way through the test. Again, we can click off another tab back to our optimization. And you can see we're still not really getting past that 575 level. Uh, but you can see that generally speaking, the results are very positive, which is a good sign that the EA is relatively robust. Come back and check in again once we're nearly done. OK, we're nearly at the end now. We've done 83 of our 96 passes. Just do the same again, see if we're getting anything better. And you can see now we've got some 600s in play. Uh, this top one looks really nice. Drawdown less than 2%. And these are the settings that it's working with. So essentially what we've done is we've added 50% to that original result. And you can see we're nearly at the end now. We're at pass 88 of 96. OK, you can see now we're finished. We've got 96 and it's given us a top result of 687, which was 47 trades during the year. Uh, we'll talk about these other numbers later, but that drawdown number is very attractive. So what we're going to do is so we've got these settings locked in, we're going to go to this top setting here. We like the drawdown uh, and it gives us $87 more, even though that drawdown is slightly better with that third one down. So this is the one we'll go for. We're going to right click on this and we're going to run a single test. And what that will do is it will put those settings into inputs like so. And you'll see a normal back test is running. Let it do its thing. You can see the graph being created. And this is looking a lot better in terms of an equity curve than the first one. A little bit of a drawdown, but not significant. And you'll see as the year progresses, we'll start to pick up again. So slight weakness during this period, which lasted around about a month. But then we're sort of good to go again and we are moving higher. And there you see us. That's a much better looking curve. It's generally up. There was a flat period during here. Uh, and so we can save these settings. Uh, and this optimization will save itself for later. If we look here, uh, we can see there that it's saved in this one here. And if we go back to this at any time, we can just do that. Uh, and of course, then now we've got these settings for this number, we can say, well, look, perhaps we need to optimize something else. I'm just going to do one more. So we need to go back here. We need to click on fast genetic based algorithm again. We're just going to do one thing here. So we need to unclick all the ones we did before. And what we're going to do now is we're going to see if we can just have a little tweak. And we're just going to do a really short test on our stop and our take profit. So we've ticked that. We've got two, a step of 0.5 up to three. And we've got one and a half stop, step a half up to two. I think what I might do is just change this to start at one go two now again if you're doing a full optimization you can make these steps uh, you make the stop longer that will obviously increase the time 
So let's do that again. Let's click start and it will just optimize for those two things. And you can see there it's done the nine of nine. That took around about a minute and a half. And you can see once again, we're not getting better than six, eight, seven. If we look at the drawdown, there's very little difference. So our settings were good. So we'll keep those as is. And then we can maybe look to tweak another couple of things. Let's do one more. So we need to go back to here. We're going to leave our settings as they are. We'll get rid of those ones. We know we're fairly good with those. And what we might do, we might just check our exit time for minutes. And we're going to start this a little earlier. So we're going to start this at 7.20. We're going to do it in 60 minutes. And we're going to go right up. Let's do 12.60. Okay. Uh, and so we're just going to do it on this one thing this time. Let's just check that that's all there is. Yes, it is. And so we'll click on start again. Now, just to say, we can optimize five different things at once. Uh, but obviously, the more you optimize, uh, the greater the time it will take. So you could shortcut some of the things that I'm doing. I'm just showing you the process uh, so you get some clarity on it. OK, so we're done now. And you can see, once again, if we organize this by profit we've done better again so we're now up to 813 so almost double our initial back test result and you can see our drawdown is still very favorable and it looks as though this 1260 is the time that we're going to choose so once again we're going to right click on this and run a single test just to cross check often when we run the single test you'll find the actual drawdown drops a little bit but we'll just wait for that to cook and then we'll have a look at the back test results. We can check on the graph in the meantime, just to see what it's doing. And you can see there, it does look slightly better. Remember there was that very long period of not doing anything and that's been shortened, uh, as well as obviously adding more profit uh, to the bottom line. Let's see if we get a little tick up towards the back end. We're nearly at the back end of the back test now. And there we go. So if we look at the back test results, you'll see 813. Our drawdown has dropped as well, 138. We've increased our win rate to, remember we're only doing long trades, to almost 61%. And you can see, uh, not altered the average win, average loss very much, perhaps a little bit. We're at now $19 uh, between the two. And so that's a very good set of results. Uh, and obviously we can scale up from there and increase the length of time to test this fully. The key thing, as before, is to have a go. It's to, what I would do is choose one or two things just to optimize initially, just to get the practice. And then you can do a fuller back test, but always have things you do in the meantime while the computer is cooking the results accordingly. Trade safe and see you again soon. Bye-bye for now.